video, I'm gonna tell y'all how you can adapt to somebody and um, pretty much how to tell somebody's a scrub or really not that great. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to tell somebody's a bum right off the few first rounds that you play him, right? Alright. This is this is what I'm gonna do, right? Alright. This is how you tell somebody's a bum. Alright, let's say this shit says round one fight, right? And the person never played you in your life before, right? And they just decide to do a hard ass read like this, right? They just do that right when the match starts, right? That or they do this, right? They do that right when the match starts, right? Or even like, let me see, another hard read like this. They'll do some shit, like maybe they'll do, maybe they'll do push, or maybe they'll just start the match like this or some shit, right? All right. When somebody plays like that, that already tells you what kind of player they are. That tells you off the back that the dude is a straight up hard reader, meaning he's just gonna hard read everything most likely, and he's gonna just try to mash you out of most most things. So. um... So in general, when somebody plays like that against you, you already know what to expect. You know the, you know what to expect. Pretty much, wake up down four twos after game knocked down. Um, after game poked up with DF one smashing with four one plus two raw. You get what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So like, it just you gotta really pay attention to some what somebody does in neutral, especially when the match starts. Pay attention closely, man. Of. Uh, of how your opponent reacts to shit like this. Another thing is that you gotta you gotta pay attention to. Let's say you're playing against somebody, right? And you hit him with DF1 on hit, right? You hit him with DF1 on hit, right? Somebody that's crazy is gonna just swing back after the DF1 on hit. They're not gonna care. Or they're gonna mash armor. That should tell you, okay, this guy's a nut, he's a hard reader, he probably doesn't wanna block too much. That should tell you off the back he's not much of a blocker. You know what I'm saying? So you just make people block shit and see how they react to shit. Most of the time, like people that attack with round start and shit like that, they try to they most likely gonna try to beat you out of shit. And they probably gonna guess all the time. Most likely. And as the match goes on, let's say you do some shit like uh let's say you do a lead like down three on uh on hit. Most of the time they're gonna duck thinking the hitman three is coming. They're gonna just duck, they're gonna go like this. Cause they're a hard reader. So that's a good way to, to tell if somebody's a bum. Just by that. Oh, just seeing how they react to shit. Especially if you make somebody block DF1, and as soon as they block it, they just go like this, they're scrub. Because that shows you that they every time they block something, they're gonna swing and they just hard readers. Most of the time, somebody that's advanced will probably just block something and just move or sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. But that's one of the few ways to tell somebody's a scrub. Also, if you knock somebody down and you approach and they just get up with a get up kick, or mash the launcher every single time you knock him down, that's another way to tell somebody's a bum. A great way to tell somebody's a bum. So those are a couple of ways to tell somebody's a bum, man. Most bums, they guess a lot and they attack on plus all the time. So, uh, let me see what else I can teach y'all. Um, somebody that plays more solid, let's say you hit them with leads down, they, you make them block like, let's say like, uh, like Lee's down forward one or some shit like that. Most people that are a little bit more solid, they'll probably they'll probably just backdash at the block in it, or backdash and duck, or sidewalk, or you know, sidewalk left, or just back up, you get what I'm saying? Most most, most that's a more solid type approach. You know what I'm saying? But guys like that, they like to option select like defensively a lot. So you could do a lot of long range mids and shit like that. Talk about why people duck for no reason. Like I said, man, people that duck for no reason, those are scrubs, man. Those are the same kind of guys that will try to beat you out when the match starts or armor you after plus, and they take everything as a mix-up. You know what I'm saying? They take everything as a mix-up. So let's say you run up and do DF1, and their head, they're going to be like, I think this low is coming. So they're going to guess, and they might hit, you might eat that and shit like that. Dudes like that, I also just to break their heads open. Just bust, their, bust them up with mids, man. Hit them with a lot of mids, man. Hit them with a lot of mids, man. Mids, 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 man. Poke them up. And you usually don't have good movement, like what Rush Caliber says. So since they don't have good movement, most of the time they're going to try to beat you out with stuff. Even if it's blocking the DF1, button back, you hit them with a poke, armor move, or guess. That's what they're going to do. They're either going to do a, they're either gonna do a, bu a button or they're going to guess. So that you should keep that in your head, that they're probably never going to sidewalk. They're going to either guess 
or swing back. Also, if they do step, it's usually like some kind of um, flow chart step. Like, give you an example. Sniper Wolf likes to do down for one on hit into sidewalk. That's the only time he ever steps. So people like that, you just gotta adapt to their flow chart step. You gotta just adapt to their flow chart set. A lot of these guys that play online and shit, they have specific flow charts when they move or when they guess. That's another thing too. A lot of scrub guys that play, um, they have flow flow chart and guessing. By flow chart and guessing, I'll give you an example. They might do something weird, like they'll do like four four two on block and then duck. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll do like DF one into into duck, meaning they don't got real defense. You get what I'm saying? Or they do that like this and then duck. That's their flow chart. You get what I'm saying? It's weird, but they got setups for blocking lows. You get what I'm saying? That's how you can tell somebody's a nut too. If they got the flow chart done. So there's a lot of ways to tell if somebody's a bum, man. But usually you can tell if somebody's a bum at the beginning of the round. They attack back after you make them block a couple of simple stingers and they always react and some shit. That tells you off the back that the guy's a hard reader. And so once the guy's a hard reader, you know what to do. You know the step, you know the punish him properly. And you know he's probably going to try to mash out on whiff. And when the match is getting really intense, he's probably going to mash get up kicks or some kind of comeback mechanic to beat you. So that's how you can tell somebody's a scrub. Also, you can test them with throws too. See if they can break throws. Most guys that are not that great, they, they can't break throws for shit. Or another way to determine if somebody's not that great, if they do the sniper wolf, which is down forward two to whiff, down forward two whiff. Or they'll whiff a button and then mash afterwards. That's a scrub tactic. That's an online player tactic. You can tell right off the back that these guys were born and raised online if they do some shit like that, because that shit is not real. You know what I'm saying? That shit is not real. If your whip punishment is on point, you can whip punish them anytime. You know? Also, you know, cool. stuff like that. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Also on the wall, they usually love to get up with Shawn Michaels. Always. So expect either Shawn Michaels or a get-up kick most of the time. Especially when you knock them down, mostly you up in their face, they're probably going to spam get-up kick. Or uh, or some kind of fucking launcher. Can you explain when to size it properly when playing? Depends on the move. Let's say a Negan player does one, one, two, two, right? You know the step to his right, you see? See that? i give you another example. Let's say he does this, right? You see? Why well, did they? They actually track about in this season, so you can't step it. But let's say he just runs up and does it to you, right? Oh, they've actually buffed the tracking up on that. That's actually really good now. Before then, yeah, you can still step it up. Man, the tracking is really good. Just knowing when to step, man. You just gotta really know your shit. See? Knowing when to step. Just look at the track. You step this way, you block it. Or you step this way. Just, you gotta learn. You know, back dash, you see? See, in this situation like that, that you can't step. And if you back dash and duck, he could DF to you. You can start some duck, but in this situation, if you know he's always gonna do jab down three or jab down four two to try to mix you up that's not real you could you could counter hit him with magic four or two two three so it's, take it as a lot of reading buttons man a lot of reading buttons and reading when you should sidewalk when you should attack back in a situation like that is fine so once you start doing that the negan play is probably going to do this to stop you from magic pulling him from that. But when he does this, you see? You see the mind game, right? See the mind game? Okay, let's say a Negan play does sound like this, right? He does. I'll show you. See? It's not real because he's dashing up and then you can magic for him. So he's actually not really using his plus. Cause he's not doing it right away. 
You can still sidewalk, you know what I'm saying? So that's a good idea. A lot of a lot of these guys that are not that great don't know how to use their frames. They don't. They'll do like something like this and then they'll run up and do a move. That's not really using your plus frames, you know? Because you can still get counter hit out of it. And you like to do shit on hit and then move and then swing. You know what I'm saying? They'll do shit like this and then run up and that, you know, which is... So pay attention, man. You can actually swing after getting hit on plus, depending on what he does. Let's say you're playing a player, right? And he's in with down back three, right? That's plus three, right? And he's always doing this afterwards, right? That's mass silly, right? Because you could... See? You can even counter hit him out of it, too. So just pay attention to your opponent's buttons and when they swing and when they guess and like, like that. And that's how you can adapt to somebody. That's why I'm saying it's good to just do single strikes. Do like BF1s. Let's say you're playing Negan, right? You're playing against a lead player, right? And the lead player is always doing... You see? Always doing DF1 after they block that, you see? Can't step after that because it's binding. But y'all you, get what I'm saying, right? Let's say do that and then you start doing launcher. Start doing down three every time he blocks it, you see? Me? It's all about adapting, man. But like I said, man, most scrub players, man, they're just gonna try to interrupt everything and they they just gonna guess all day. That's how that's how players are not that good play. So that's it for this video, man. I, I hope you guys um learn something from this, man. Oh, also, too, man, when you grab somebody that's not that good and they happen to break the throw, they're probably going to try to challenge you on neutral. A lot of these guys are not really good, don't have great movement. So when it comes to playing neutral, they're just going to go back and forth with you all day, all day. And go back and forth. They're never going to sidewalk. They're going to interrupt. They're going to guess. They're going to arm move. They're going to keep going like this, going like this, going like this. You know what I'm saying? They keep going like that all day, all day, all day. So you said defending on the wall? They probably just going to do some crazy 50-50 shit on you. You just got to learn how to get out of the wall by like spacing them out and sidewalking and knowing your movement and knowing when to press them between their strings and shit. It's all about adapting, man. You got to you gotta learn when to sidewalk. You got to learn when to interrupt back. Really pay attention to their offense, not only their defense. Like pay attention to how they guess and how they move and pay attention to when they swing. I'll give you an example. Let's say you play a Negan player, right? And he's always doing, I don't know, he's doing maybe jabbing the sidewalk all the time, right? You know he's doing that. So you know to do a tracking move to stop him from stepping. You get what I'm saying? You know to do tracking to stop him. It's all about adapting, man. Look at look at when he moves and look at when he swings and look at when he guesses, man. Usually, at least with Lee, man, it's best against these players just to do safe shit. You get what I'm saying? But that's all I got for you guys, man. I'm gonna upload this shit because I think this is good. This is good um, stuff, man. So remember, man, neutral, always back and forth, usually hard reads or buttons or guessing. You know what I'm saying? Always trying to interrupt. And I'm swinging when the match starts, a whiff into whiff. That's how you can tell the level difference, man. And somebody's always reacting to your shit right when they blocked it and they never played it to played you before, and they're already hard guessing without playing you. You should know what kind of player it is, man. That should like give you data, data right away. That should be like in your head. That should be like, yo, this guy's a nut. He's crazy. Especially if you hit somebody with some shit. Like like let's say you hit them with that and they just hop kick right there. You'll be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, okay, this guy's crazy. He's making hard reads on the offense and the defense. So just be, be attention to that, man. Tekken's all about adapting, man. Also, another thing that I forgot to say too, man. When you not, when you, when, if you playing a nut and the energy is low like this on Rage, and let's say you hit them with DF1 or something, and they just mash Rage art, that's another thing, man. Pay a, a nut or somebody that's not that good is probably going to abuse Rage art and Rage Drop when they have no energy. Because that's all they could do. They can't do anything. So on defense, like I said, they're going to guess, rage art, or do a reversal. So you could basically, a lot of these nutty dudes, all you need to do is space them out and block punish them and just wait. You could like, it's like this, man. 
somebody that's not that good and somebody that's like a bum, they're going to try to rush the match. Because they, they don't want the match to last too long. So they're going to try to rush the whole match. Your your job is pretty much just prolong the match. And by prolonging the match, basically what you're doing is simple shit. You're doing simple, you're doing simple pokes, like DF1s by itself, standing through. You're playing safe. You're making them block. You know what I'm saying? You're taking your time. You know what I'm saying? And alone... The, the bummy player, they're going to get desperate. They're like, damn, I got to launch this dude. Because they don't like to poke. They don't like to poke. They're going to keep going in and going in. With like crazy shit. And eventually, if you're playing your shit, keep out and playing patient, you're eventually going to counter hit them. And you, you're eventually going to mix them up. And you're eventually going to um, um, whip punish them or whatever. Because these crazy players, man, they don't poke, man. They don't poke and they don't move. They just want to launch you with some YOLO shit. Which, at the end of the day, that shit is just hard reads. That's all that shit is. So keep that shit in mind, man. Keep that shit in mind when you play some, some of these guys, man. Because people don't poke and people that don't mix up. And since they don't poke and, and they don't mix up, if it, since they don't poke and they don't move well, defensively, you don't have too much to worry about. And the reason why you don't have too much to worry about, because to be honest with you, most launchers and knockdown lows and shit like that, them shits is all steppable or have some kind of button hole in them. You get what I'm saying? So if you're playing spacing right, defensive properly, and the swing when you're supposed to, they probably won't be able to open you up. So they're going to force them just to throw out random launchers and hard reads or armor moves to try to figure something out. But at the same time, you know, they doing all that shit, it makes it kind of rough for them too because they don't move. So by them not moving, you know they're going to be more counter hit prone and they're going to guess a lot more because they just kind of just... Their game plan is to either swing or guess, because they don't they don't sidewalk. So they're gonna have to eat every mix up. They're gonna have to eat every mix up and every button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying, right? That's cause that's how they play. They don't move. And they don't poke. So defensively you'll be alright, because they can't open you up. You know what I'm saying? And defensively they don't move. Offensively is like whatever. So But that's that with that, man. I hope this shit helps. It's still hard to say what what I'm telling you to do. I'm basically telling you to play solid and, let, and just let the scrub beat themselves up. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you to do. But this is is easier said than done. It's still not easy. It's still not easy to do because in this game, all they need to do is hit you with one hard ass read or one launcher, and that's a wrap. But y'all get the picture, man. You just gotta test their defense, grab, and just do everything I tell you, and you should be alright. So that's it for that, man. I'll upload this thing in a couple of days.